Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about naming, saving and downloading your files from the Scan and Cut canvas to a USB stick. Now firstly let me say that Brother have issued a list of USB sticks they have tested that are compatible with their machine. Having said that, there are that many USB sticks on the market, they possibly can't test them all. So if you have a USB stick lying around at home in a drawer, get it out, try it with your machine and see if it works. This is the list that the, of the ones they've tested as being compatible so far. I will put a link to this list under this video on YouTube and I will also put a list, a link to it from my blog where you can actually download and save it. So as you can see, there, there, are, there are several on here, but nowhere near as many as there probably are on the market. So we're going to go back to Canvas. As it's nearly Easter, I thought I'd wish you all happy Easter. And I've literally just dragged some text from the logo section here. And I've got it and I've coloured it in black just purely and simply so you can see it on screen. I use a Mac and when I plug my USB stick in it automatically shows up on the desktop and it's here and I've actually called my this one Scan and Cut so I know it's just for any Scan and Cut projects but originally I think this was a scan disk and that's what it would have shown up as there. If you use a Windows platform your USB stick may not show up on your desktop when you plug it in. You may have to go and look for it. And by that I mean usually somewhere down on the bottom left of your screen you'll probably have a Windows icon. You may have a desktop shortcut that says My Computer. Either way, either click on the My Computer on your desktop or go to your Windows icon that's normally down here. Left click on that and then somewhere in a menu will probably appear along the left hand side and look for computer or my computer and click on one of those options and providing the USB stick is plugged into your machine it should show up in that window somewhere it may show up under something called external devices and it may just it may it may just say disk f or it may say its name, scan disk or buffalo or whatever it's called. It will be there somewhere. And that is where you will be saving your files to, ultimately. But you can also save your files to the desktop and then just drag them into that location once you've found it. I would always get into the habit of giving your project a name up here in the project title before you download it. And the reason I say that is, I'll just open my USB stick and show you. Within my USB stick, I've created folders. And for instance, if I just click on this one, Animals, if you don't name your project here, these files, these cutting files that are here, will just probably say Untitled or they might have a, a long number. And if you want to cut a file that's an owl, and you know you've, you've made a folder called animals and you know it's in there it's far easier to look for a name like this and then know where it is than, than be looking at a series of numbers the way that I do mine you don't have to do this as I say you can just put them in on the disk like this this is a, a a file that I created in the lattice video recently. I like to organise mine a little bit more. So the way to do this is I've got the scan disk folder open, right click, choose new folder, it shows up here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to delete that text and I'm going to just call this one Easter. And that's there for when I now download this file. Okay, so here's, we're back in Canvas. I'm going to give this a name and I'm just going to call it Easter title. First of all, I'm going to save it into Canvas 
<clears throat> excuse me, so I'm going to click on this icon and that will save this cutting file within <clears throat> my projects, which you get to from up here. But I'm, I'm now going to download it to my USB stick. So you click on download, wait for it to show up because I've given it a name, it's showing me the name here and it's giving it the file extension. Now it tells you what to do here, it tells you that you right click on this name. But you can also just left click and again I'm going to show you. First of all if I just left click on this and you'll see the file disappeared. If I go to my downloads folder on my Mac, it's there, Easter file FCM. I can drag it out, put it on my desktop, and then I can open up my USB, double click on my folder, and drag it in and put it there. Now I'm going to drag that one into the rubbish bin. <coughs> Close this. Okay, I'm going to do it again, different way this time. Download. It's there again. I'm going to follow what it says on the screen. Right click. Download link file as. Now, I can either choose my USB stick from within my menu here. Again, if you're on Windows, you might have to look for it. It might have to be, you know, under... Um, my computer again and navigate to it. If you're in any doubt, I would always choose desktop and put your cutting file on your desktop and then at least you know where it is and then you can put your USB stick in your machine and just search around through your computer to find it and drag it in. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to click on Scan and cut, because that's where, that's my USB. I'm going to look for my folder, Easter, double click on it, and I'm going to choose save. Now it'll probably tell me the file already exists, because it does, because I've dragged it in, and it may give me other options, but you won't have this, because unless you've got a, a cutting file with the same name. But I'm just doing it to show you the different ways it's asking me to cancel or replace. So I'll say cancel because I know I've already got it. And then close that down. So that's two ways to save your download files to a USB. So literally you click on download and you can either choose save it to the desktop or save it directly to your USB. In part two, I'm going to show you what the files look like once you put the USB into your actual scan and cut machine. So we'll leave it here for now and I'll see you in part two.